Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given these squares with an inscribed circle with a radius of capital R equals one unit. At the corner here at the bottom, we are also given these three identical circles with a radius of small r. The three identical smaller circles are arranged in such a way that this corner circle is tangent to the sides of the square and to the other two circles. This circle here at the top is tangent to the side of the square here and to the bigger circle, whereas this smaller circle here at the bottom is tangent to the side of the square here and to the bigger circle at this point of tangency. We are asked to find what is the radius of these three identical smaller circles. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this geometry challenge. And if you know the answer now, you can write them in our comment section. Okay, let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by extending this radius to become a diameter. The measure of this diameter must be two units because the radius is one unit. This other radius is perpendicular to the diameter and so we now form here another smaller square with a side length of one unit because its side length is the length of the radius. And then let's look at these two smaller circles here at the bottom. Let's connect their centers by a line segment that is parallel to the diameter. We know that these two are parallel because if you connect these two centers of identical circle that are both tangent to the bottom side of the square, these two radii are equal. And since you have a square, this line segment is parallel to this diameter here at the top. Also, when we connected the centers of these two identical smaller circles, that line segment passes through the point of tangency. So if this 90 degrees here, it's also 90 degrees here. Now let's connect the center of our smaller circle here to the center of the bigger circle. And let's look at now this right triangle. Let's now label the measures of the sides of this triangle. First, we know that the radius of this smaller circle is small r, and the radius of the bigger circle is one unit. That means the leg of our right triangle here must be one minus r, because the radius of the bigger circle is one unit, and we subtract the radius of this smaller circle. So we have one minus r. Now for the other leg of this right triangle, we are looking at this side here. From this point up to the side of the square, the length is the same as the radius of the bigger circle. So the length is one unit, but we are going to subtract one r here and another r and another r. We are going to subtract three radii because the first blue circle here has a diameter of 2r plus this other length here that is equivalent to the radius of the second circle. So we are going to subtract 3r all in all to the radius of the bigger circle. So we have 1 minus 3r. Now, for the hypotenuse from the center of the big circle to this point that is equivalent to 1 radius, so that means 1 unit because r is 1, plus the radius of the smaller blue circle. So the length of the hypotenuse must be one plus r. Let's write it down. So we are now looking at this right triangle and we want to solve for the value of r. This is now easier to solve because of the Pythagorean formula. So the square of this leg is the quantity one minus r squared. The square of the other leg is the quantity one minus three r squared that is equal to the square of the hypotenuse 1 plus r. Expanding the binomials, we arrive at this. The first three terms here is the expansion of this first squared term. The last three terms here is also the expansion of this second term. And the right side is the expansion of this. Notice that r squared and r squared are the same, so we can subtract them out from our equation. Also, Positive 1 and positive 1 can also be subtracted out of the equation. 
minus 2r minus 6r is minus 8r, and then subtracting 2r from both sides, we get minus 10r at the left, and writing that in descending order, we start first with 9r squared minus 10r, and copy this one, we have 0 at the right. This is a quadratic equation that is factorable with factors the quantity 9r minus 9 times the quantity r minus 1 over 9 equals 0. And solving for r, r is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 over 9. Now remember that in our problem, the radius of the bigger circle is 1 unit. So that means the radius of the three identical smaller circles cannot be positive 1. So we rule this out as our answer, and we only accept small r equals 1 over 9 for the solution of this problem. And so going back to the problem, we can visually verify our solution this way. Notice that every small circle here has a diameter of 2r. So you have 2r, 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 8r, plus this other radius, so a total of 9r, in order to get 1 unit which means each of the radii here must be 1 out of 9 or 1 over 9. So that verifies our answer. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.